All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I'm back with another one. And, and I'm recording this on, this is 12.48 a.m. on a Sunday morning. And this is just crazy. I ran into this video and it just blows my mind of what I was hearing, not even what I was seeing. Whatever, what I was hearing blew my mind to the point where I really don't have a vague understanding why this person claims to be a Christian. But then you look at the video it pretty much knocks you off your chair and you bust your head and you wonder if Christianity has become something you buy at the bodega. I don't, I don't understand. I really don't understand. Well, watch this video. Tell me what you think in the comment box below. So get this, Black China just recently said in an interview that she can wear whatever she wants and listen to any music she likes as a Christian. Many Christians do that. And let me tell you that I did that until the Lord himself spoke to me and told me to be modest. The word Christian actually means follower of Christ. So can you really claim the name of Christ yet still look like the world? Because living for Jesus means dying to your old self, your former passions and desires, and becoming a new creation sealed by the Holy Spirit and holy because God is holy. Pray for Black China. She's a new believer and needs some grace. Just because I'm a Christian doesn't mean that I can't wear this. You can't say just because you're a Christian, you cannot wear this. If you are a Christian, you cannot wear this. If you are truly Christ-like, you cannot dress ho-like. I'm sorry to say that. If you cannot be Christ-like, which is basically what a Christian is, one who believes in Christ, one who emulates the ways of Christ, one who emulates Christ, and one who Christ lives in by his Holy Spirit, and one who the Holy Spirit dwells in to bring conviction and to bring repentance and to bring change. But if you left your hoish ways, and now you say you're a Christian, you cannot continue to live that hoish way. Does anybody get what I'm saying? Anyone who has an encounter with Christ Jesus, from that moment on, they think like Christ, they act like Christ, they behave like Christ, they go after things that pertains to Christ-likeness, and they live out their lives for the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of this world. Prime example, I'm sitting here, yes, I have a little thigh out, a little whatever top this is, you know what I mean? People need to understand that it's the relationship between me, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, and that's who all I have to answer to and that's that i'm sorry to say that you said it's between you christ god and the holy spirit guess what you're missing a group of other people other believers because the same christ that is in you is the same christ that is in them the holy spirit that brought you to conviction is the same holy spirit that brought them to conviction every and any true christian upon the face of the earth today i tell you do not look like you so you are not a new type of christian there is an existing type of Christian, and you are not one of them. I'm sorry to say, whatever your name is, whatever you call yourself, let me ask you a question. When Paul had an encounter with Christ Jesus, not only did the life of Paul change forever, he also changed his name. So, if you actually had an encounter with Jesus Christ by his Holy Spirit, through the power of God, you must have changed your name from Black, what, Black China, or Black China, to something that is pleasing to God. Let the Holy Spirit continue to walk in you if you think he's in you. But I don't think that's the Holy Spirit of God. That's some other spirit that dwells in you for you to be like that and call yourself a Christian. You cannot serve God and mammon. Leave your comments below, please. Tell me what you think. If you support what this lady is doing, please let me know so that I can refute what you're saying based on scripture. And if you think she's outright a complete liar because the devil is a liar, let me know and we'll talk about it. Thank you. Have a blessed day.